Yellow. Hello, everyone. How are you today? I'm Soma. I'm Kit Kat mode because I am in rest mode. Or in this case, loaf mode. How are you guys? Can you guys hear me? Can you hear everything okay? Soma, Soma is suspicious of everything working appropriately, especially after yesterday's shenanigans. Hey, Wild. Hey, IHD. Aw, thank you for the hug. Hey, oh, hey, little bro. Everybody give little bro a happy birthday in the chat. Is their birthday today? Let's go. And little bro says, hey, sis, big sis, and I see that new loading screen in the background. Yep. Now, just to give context for that loading screen, I did not craft that screen myself. This actually comes from a video game. Would you guys like to see, like, what this game looks like, perchance? Oh, thank you, Wild. I also have a brand new, brand new loading screen for tomorrow that I hope you guys look forward to that I did craft myself. Usually I don't like use other assets, but like this game is just so adorable and so cozy that it's like, oh, it'd be perfect for our, for our show me live streams exclusively. How is it IHD? Please tell me all about it. It's such a weird like concept having a cup of noodles, breakfast flavor style. Hey Chuggles. Oh dang, I was going to send in that I bought my friend a sploof, but I forgot. Oh, don't worry. Actually, let me see if I can grab the picture of that since we are speaking about it because I want to show the world the sploofy you got me too. Dooba dooba dooba. We have the power of Discord. One moment, everyone, as I dig around my DMs and see if I can find a photo. Here it is. I shared this earlier, but I want to share it here too. We have... Do, 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 do. We have a sploof! Juggles got me a sploof! And if you guys want to know, that is a cookie in the foreground. Yeah! Look how adorable they are! They are so round. Like, if I take a picture of them from the side, which I should do too, they are orbital. They are the sploof that got all the food and is more than ready for hibernation. And little bro says, I saw the other night that th you were you were playing it, and it had to go, hmm, what is she up to now? Stares at suspicion. Hey, that just means that I'm always working on something, you know, you know? Keeps you on your toes. I know, right, Ben? I adore this sploof plushie. And right now they're sitting on top of my desk on top of two cat breads. I'll have to share that later on, actually. And I also ordered them a scarf, because, like, they're very round, they're very French-shaped. They look like they could use a scarf. So I, I ordered them a small little scarf off of Etsy and now I'm just waiting for it to be delivered. Show us the man's! Well, he's right here. Eh? And Sentinel says, did the sloth eat the cookie or did you? I gave them one whole bite because, you know, I think they, uh, should watch, watch how much they're consuming, not too much sugar for the splofy or they might explode. <laughs> Hey, Lumi! It does look like a bunny, doesn't it? It, however, is a slug cat instead. And Chuckle says, Also, it's so funny to see your stream notification pop up over and over. Very easy to tell when you are testing settings. Oh? Over and over? Oh, because it's Steam! Steam? Steam. Steam. Yes. <laughs> hey, Dead Torch! What's up? Thomas says, Did you... Te teach the bond how to change farms yet? Mm, no. <laughs> I could have said maybe, but the answer is unfortunately no. I refuse. That's a bunny. You know what? Fair enough. I do not blame you. I mean, look at those adorable little ears. They look very bunny, don't they? And Sentinel says, Summon Turbo Digivolves to you. Kaiju mine? <gasps> Turn me into a giant cat so that I may destroy the world. There are some days where I genuinely wish I could do that. Not not to the point where I, like, if there were zero repercussions and nobody got hurt, let me topple a city. Evacuate the entire, entire city and just let me push. I wish to push the city. 
Let me knock this building over. Let me stamp that one down. Let me bite into one of these skyscrapers like it's a piece of cardboard. And I'm a happy cat. Some days you just want to rule the world so that you can do that. Mm, mm, mm. And Chuckle says, don't disrespect Splove's name in this house. <laughs> I love our Splove. And once I get Splove their scarf, I'll take another picture of them. And I may or may not model them with our current uh, slug cat model as well. And then I'll give myself a scarf and they will be matching. It'd be so cute. And little bro says, oh no, not the DMV. Darn, what will we do without it? Oh, don't worry. That'll be one of my first targets. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure to do extra stomps on it. Just for you guys. Just for you guys. <laughs> and Juggle says, I gotta bring you one of those destruction... Destruction rooms? Is that a real thing? Please say yes. <laughs> I would love to have a destruction room. Oh my gosh. To, like, oh my gosh. Like, Please? I'm losing my mind over it, just the concept alone. They are a real thing? Give? 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 Give to me? To me? Give? I must go there! I don't know where they are, but I must find them. Lil Bro says, if I gotta reserve it for you, big sis. Nah, 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 nah. No worries, no worries. Oh, where there's a will, there's a way, and Bon and me will find a way. No, 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 you're good, you're good, you're good. But I appreciate the offer, I really do. And Chuckle says there are rooms where you can just smash things. Like, they give you safety equipment and a bat and so... <gasps> Go ham! Oh my gosh! Why has no one told me about this? How did I not know about this? That sounds amazing! That sounds amazing! I gotta go find this. There's gotta be somewhere, somewhere nearby where I can do that. That would be so much fun. If anything, I think Bond could use it too, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Cause all jobs do be stressful from time to time, and we gotta get all that negative energy out of our bodies in some way, manner, or form. And IC says, first it... Okay, we're talking about the, uh, the ramen, the breakfast ramen, right? I, she says, first I've had dried eggs and sausage, and when I see it closer, the hint of maple syrup goes to my nose. No pancakes, but mix the syrup smells with the smell of the ramen noodles. So is it like all of what you mentioned on top of like chicken noodle ramen or or what? <laughs> it's so peculiar. Have you have you eaten the dry eggs yet? Do they taste good? Does it taste like what you expect an egg to taste like? And little bro says, I'll send you a video on one shortly. Please do, please, please do. I won't be able to see it until after the stream, but I would love to check it out when I can. Oh my gosh. And Chuggles says, I learned about them from an Unis Honest video. I must have missed that video. That's so cool. There's one in Vegas, Rage Rooms. I guess you could say they're all the rage. <laughs> Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I'm going to use up all my energy getting excited over these rage rooms. So I, I got I to gotta pull myself back. I got to breathe in, breathe out, and say, welcome, everyone, to the Show Me Life Part 2. We'll be picking up from where we left off last, uh, I was going to say last week, yesterday. What is time even? Um, so... I welcome you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know because I know some of y'all are new here. And yeah, I think where we left off was, wait, not that one, not yet, this one. I think this is where we left off last time. However, however, I know that we had a weird disconnection uh, during our previous stream. So if you guys want me to backtrack further, let me know. I'll, I'll leave it here for now and you guys can, uh, you know, catch me up or apprise me of the situation. Oh, brother, so, uh, but excuse me. <laughs> Juggle says, hear me out. Rage room, then spa day. Dude, that sounds like the ultimate combination because you imagine you're all pent up, right? You've got all this anger, all of this stress, all this negativity that's been weighing you down. You go to a rage room, you destroy, you disrespect your surroundings and you destroy everything. 
And then after you've gotten all of that energy out of your system, like you're, you're tired, your muscles are probably a little sore because you're, you're not used to moving around that much, unless you do, unless you usually do, but you're all tired and then spa day. You go out and you relax and you soak and you get all of this relaxation treatment afterwards. That just sounds like the perfect therapy day. I'm so passionate about this. I gotta make it happen. Dude, that is such an epic way to like, just have a good day. That's what I wanna do for my birthday. Unfortunately, my birthday isn't until October, but that's what I wanna do for my birthday. I have an idea now. Usually when my birthday rolls around, I'm just like, man, I don't know what I wanna do. I guess food, a cake. And then the rest is like, nah, it's just another day. And thanks, little bro. Appreciate it. I'll definitely give that a look-see after the stream. I'm very hyped for it. And Richie says, I wish there was a rage room where I'm at. I have so much stress all these years. I know. Dude, I hope everybody gets a stress or a, a rage room near you. That would be good. The double catharsis day. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It sounds so heavenly. Hacking bed. I'll do it. I'll plan the rage room. Dude. <laughs> You're gonna watch me like try to destroy things and then like I'll have like a bat or something in my in my paws and I'll I'll swing and I'll miss and I'll swing and I'll stumble and then I'll swing and then I'll fall down and then it'll just be like Soma, you're supposed to destroy the things around you, not yourself. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm not used to destroying things, but I could definitely get used to it. I'm not used to it yet, but I can become used to it. Oh, happy belated birthday, Dead Torch! Aww. Sorry that I wasn't able to wish it uh, for you yesterday, but I hope you had a very lovely birth birth. Chuggle says, plus side, if you get frustrated at the room, that's the point of the room. Exactly. Makes sense to me. Hey, Chris, what's up? Welcome to the stream, dude. How are you? Yay! Disrespect the room. Yeah! Alrighties. Let me just double check the chat, make sure I didn't miss anything because I did go off on a, on a little tangent. Also, hey Haruka, welcome to the stream. Almost forgot to say a big hello to you. Do, 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 do. Okay, I don't think I missed anything. I think this is where we left off. So, I will start with this one. And Chris says, we showing off animals and such. Oh, animals? <gasps> like, like, like a zoo? What's going on? And IG says, Soma, if you want to taste cup noodles breakfast for yourself, ask mom to go to Walmart to get one. Or we have the powerful tool of the internet. We can always order it online, I'm sure. But worst case scenario, Walmart. Got it. And Chuggle says, I will not apologize for distracting the Soham. It's a good distraction. I am excited. I am super excited. And you helped me, you helped me bring forth energy for this stream because unfortunately it is that dreaded time of the month for myself. So my energy stores are depleted. I'm dealing with cramping and you know, summoning energy for for hanging hangouts is like, it's extra difficult. I'm, I'm basically playing life on hard mode right now. So I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And Detour says, question, who is Snickers? Snickers was our family cat on Bond's side of the family. He was an adorable tabby and he was our friend. We took care of him since he was a little itty bitty kitty. And he was just, he was fun. He was a bully. He loved to hunt and jump and surprise me all the time. But when he got older, he loved to cuddle with me instead. Things kind of changed over, over the years and he became my cuddle buddy and he loved doing biscuits. He was also an ankle biter, but unfortunately Snickers recently passed away. So we were uh, honoring his memory yesterday and yeah, hope that catches you up to speed. But we're gonna be okay. I want you to know that we're gonna be a-okay. We just miss, we're just gonna miss him, that's all. Yeah, he was an itty bitty kitty. And then when he became an adult, he became a very large, round, rotund kitty. And we loved him for it. He was really cute. Bond's mother used to describe Snickers as a, a football with sticks. <laughs> if that gives you any idea. Unfortunately, I don't have many pictures of Snickers of when he was super rotund. At least not uploaded to my PC. It's somewhere on my phone, but I've got 
a million pictures on there, so finding it would definitely take some time. So I just went through the pictures I had currently. Yes, loaf! And Juggle says, the only cat I knew was Bob, the meanest cat to ever walk the earth. Bless that man. <laughs> His name was Bob? That's adorable. I, like, when it comes to simplistic names like Bob, it's just, I don't know, it strikes a chord with me. In all the right ways. Oh, and the name Snickerdoodle is so cute. Speaking of Snickerdoodle, I'm just going to backtrack real quick. The cookie in this, you may think is chocolate chip. But in actuality, this is, in fact, a Snickerdoodle. It is all cinnamony flavors in a very delightful, warm, and fluffy treat. But yes, sorry, I, I digress. Let me go ahead and read this submission for you guys. That way we can get things in motion once more. This is by Colin. Colin says, I want to show you my character from Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. It was a really fun game, but unfortunately it shut down years ago, and I was a day one player. I really missed that game. Wait, was that the mobile game? I used, to, I used to play it too, but I didn't get very far if that's the case. I could be wrong though, I could be wrong. Also, the keyblade my character is holding is named the Bad Guy Breaker, a Wreck-It Ralph keyblade. <laughs> the Bad Guy Breaker? I can kind of see that. Let me see if I can zoom into the, the keyblade real quick. I'm just curious. What What is that on the end? Oh, it's got like a little bit of what I imagine is like candy. I like to think that's candy on the end, like that's chocolate coming out, like right here, it's chocolate coming out. It was the Kingdom Hearts mobile game. Okay, cool, cool. What's going on all the way on this side of the Keyblade though? I'm like trying to interpret the design. Sadly, I didn't play it very much either. I, I was really excited when it first came out, but there was, I, if I remember correctly, there was a lot of waiting involved, which I mean, duh, it makes sense. It's a mobile game, right? But my patience and attention span definitely got, got diverted elsewhere. Did it actually have main series lore in it? I wouldn't be surprised. It's Kingdom Hearts, right? It's Kingdom Hearts. If they can give extra lore to the game, they will. I mean, how many games are like, all together, how many Kingdom Hearts games are there? <laughs> including spin-offs, including spin-offs. And Pan says, is that an aqua plushie on your shoulder, Colin? Oh, they're so cute, they're so small. If I could walk everywhere with a plushie on my shoulder, I would. I really, really would. But the fear of it falling off and, um, you know, touching the, the land, the earth, I'd be so scared for the plushie. There's like eight games? That's a lot of games, but actually, not as many as I thought, but very, it's still a very impressive number. And Renji says, there were so many Cartoon Network Flash games I used to play in my childhood. I miss it. Oh, I remember those times. I do, I do. Oh, but at least you can always look back and remember them with a smile. And Thomas says, what K Kingdom Hearts character do you like the most? Uh, that's a lot of characters to pick from. But that's also because you're mixing, you know, Disney characters, Final Fantasy characters, all in the same universe, right? I mean, Sora is pretty cool. I know it's pretty basic. Oh, going with going with the the hero, the protagonist. But I mean, without without the muscly features, I'd say he's just he's a very good kid. Sora is a very good kid, but I don't know much about the, the the lore and the plot because I know that there's nobodies. I know that there's the Heartless. I know there's Organization, was it 13? And I don't know how any of that mixes together, right? Like, I remember seeing a chart where it says like, Sora is not Roxas and Roxas is Sora. And then it just... It's a spider web of who is what and what is who. And I'm like, I don't even know who I am anymore. <laughs> so all in all, can't really say for certain. I like Sora, Sora's pretty cool, but I don't even know if Sora is Sora. <laughs> IHD says, there was a Kingdom Hearts game on old mobile phones before iPhones. Gotcha. Wait, there was a time before iPhones? 
There was, there was a time before iPhones. My very first, first touchscreen phone was an iPhone. I think I started off with the iPhone 3. I was very late in the game, but I was also very blessed by Bond's family who were very well endowed. And Dead Torch says, Donald Duck, most OP character in Kingdom Hearts. Is that because he's the mage? It's because he uses magic. You gotta appreciate the magic users. Usually they're glass cannons, but I forget. Does Donald know how to heal? It's been a long time since I played. I know Goofy is basically the tank of the party because he uses his shield. And Sentinel says, Kingdom Hearts lore is way too much for Soma. I mean, it's funny that you mentioned that. I... I went, like, there was this point in time when I was going to college, I met a guy who was super into Kingdom Hearts, and he was really trying to get me on board with playing the series, and I'm like, I grew up with Kingdom Hearts, I enjoyed one and two, but after two, there became a whole, like, there was a whole bunch of extra games released, and I'm like, I don't even know where to pick up from here. And so I sat him down and I said, okay, Answer me these few questions. Is there good character development? And does it ever, is it, do you eventually understand the story as you go? And the guy could not answer me at the time. He actually got really tongue twisted. He was really excited to explain it, but he got stumped on these questions. And I'm just like, look, if you can come back to me and try to sell this on me again in the future, I will, I will give you the time of day, I will hear you out. But for now, I think I'm good. I think I'm good for now. <laughs> and Sentinel says, only two can cast it. One's Bahamut and the other's Donald Duck. Ooh, wait, cast what, cast what? I missed something. The spell Zeta Flare. I think Bond might be uh, familiar with Zeta Flare. Unfortunately, I am not as uh, familiar. I want, I want a Bahamut plushie. Does that exist in the world? Bahamut is super cool. I love, I love that summon. Just a very cool creature. And Renchi says, chat, name the cartoon that had your favorite flash games. I want to know. Huh, flash games. It's been a really long time since I've played a flash game. Oh my goodness gracious. Hey, when it hits me, I'll let you know. IT says, not touchscreen phones, you play with cell phone buttons. That's true. Wait, what? You're saying there is a Kingdom Hearts game before? Like, for mobile, but before... Huh? <laughs> oh my gosh! The time... I'm, like, we're time traveling at this point. We are literally going way back in time. That concept, though, is wild to me. Did you know that, like... I think it was for really old Nokia phones, but did you know that there was a time where Tomb Raider was actually ported to Nokia phones and you could play the whole game. Obviously it was sized down, the uh, cutscenes couldn't load properly, it was too much for the cellular device, but apparently that was a thing too. Sentinel says, Bahamut, the dragon god, the apex summon. Dude, whenever Bahamut comes from the skies and destroys your enemies, when he does a Zeta Flare, just, just imagine anything that ends up in that beam becomes Baja Burgers. Deliciously fried, yummy nums. And Chris says, there are five Zeno, Z, Z, I can't even say his name. Z, 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 I know what he looks like. He, he's tan, he's got very long white hair. There's a young, I'm gonna call him X for now, just to make it simple for me. Young X, old man, master X, X menace, <laughs> which is X's nobody. And finally, Ansem, which is X's a heartless. Ansem was, really? I'm already confused, but like, I just want somebody to explain to me Wait, we've got nobodies and we've got heartlesses. You know, one day I will give Kingdom Hearts a try because there is just this, there is this fascination, right? There is this fascination that I do have with the franchise where it's just, I want to be able to wrap my mind around the lore. Cause heartless steel hearts, nobodies, 
are the leftovers of people who have had their hearts stolen, if I remember that correctly. You guys can totally, totally let me know if I'm, I'm hitting this wrong. But from my understanding, that's what I remember. I just want to learn. Like, now it's like just studying it now. I bet the lawyer is wild. I believe that, Chris. I believe it. And Colin says, don't go down that rabbit hole, Soma. Don't worry, I won't be going down it anytime soon. But if ever I get an itching, quite possibly, maybe I might do some playthroughs. Maybe, maybe, maybe. And Dead Torch says, there's a third being who can use a Zeta Flare. An evil fairy powered by a god-like being from Bravely Default? Huh. That sounds pretty cool. I like the sound of that. I love fairies. Fairies are awesome. They're also tricksters, and they're very playful, but they're not afraid to kill. So there's also, you know, a word, an air of caution to be had around fairies. Never give a fairy your name. That is also another lesson to be given. But yes, thank you very much for sharing this with us. Very cool design. Love the keyblade. Love the plushie on your shoulder. And we shall go on to the next one. I think this is, yeah, I showed that one. Next one is fan art time. It's fan art time, fan art time. Let me grab you guys the link to the artist. They go by the name Bob the Dalek. Here it is in chat for you guys if you want to go see the artist or the source material. But let's go ahead and give this a look see. We've got Octavia and Vinyl Scratch here. And Octavia says, now, now, my mother will be expecting you to be wearing the Easter bonnet she made when she gets here. Aww, that is so adorable. <laughs> Honestly, you know, given, given who, given Octavia in general, you'd think Vinyl would be prepared to have to go through such situations, but Vinyl may not exactly be the type of pony who thinks that far ahead. So there's also that. Very cute, very adorable. Love the half puff and gruff face. And Sentinel says, never give a fairy your full name. Oh, can you get away with it if you just give them your first name? I wouldn't even chance it. I'd give them like, what if I gave them, there's like, okay, I've got my VTuber name. I've got my IRL, IRL name. What if I came up with a name? If I gave them my VTuber name, would they just like destroy? Or would they would they steal? <gasps> They'd steal steal my cat my cat life. That would be that would be horrible. Also, hey Anuti, good evening to you as well. Welcome to the stream, and hope you're having a fabulous Wednesday so far. We're halfway there, guys. We're halfway there to the weekend. Just hang in there. I'm also gonna take a quick sip of soda real quick. Oh, that's yummy. And Thomas says, I love this guy's art. It's so cute. Very cute. They did a very lovely job of drawing these characters at a tea table, but sizing down the tea table to make it very comfortable for them. Like it all makes sense. And they did a lot of detailing here too. Hats off to them. So da. Yep, I've got myself a C4 energy drink. I forgot to prepare proper drinks. So this is <laughs> all I have right now. But I will survive. If I run out, I will take a break to go grab myself a drink. But for now, this will sustain me. Use the names Eggs Benedict. Oh, dude, I love Eggs Benedict. Have you guys ever had like that food? That the Eggs Benedict before? It has a special hollandaise sauce. And that hollandaise sauce is, oh, it is so good. But yes, let's go on to the next fan art pick, which is Rio Dash and Scootaloo. Oh, these two are so adorable. Let me go ahead and grab the source material and post it here for you guys in chat. There you go. Show the, the artists some love as well. They go by the name MPU. Very cool stuff. I really like the way they, they drew them, you know, in a horizontal, not horizontal, vertical. No, not vertical. Diagonal. That's the word. That's the direction I'm going for. I got there. But also, look at the way they did the highlights in the eyes. They make them look like they're so happy. Very expressive. And ISD says, my little brother had eggs benedict before. <gasps> did he like it? 
understand if it's not for everybody, but I'm very curious to hear. They are like sisters. Oh yeah, 100%. Like, it's very hard for me to look at these two and not see a sibling pair, you know? All in all, very good artwork. I also really like the way they did the clouds. He's cute. Cumulo cuties. And with that, let me go ahead and grab the very next artwork. Next up, we've got... Oh, it's not artwork! It's canon! So how many of you, you beans here, how many of y'all watch Chicken Nugget on, on either YouTube or Twitter, etc.? Because they've got multiple social medias, right? Oh my gosh, it's canon! They're officially together! Also, this has a... This has a source link too, so I'm going to just post that in chat for you guys as well. I love their videos too. They actually posted a brand new video today, actually, I believe, where, you know, Kof, uh, uh, cheese, cheap, I'm going to call it che cheeseburger, but Chi and Kofi, right? The, the wolf's, the wolf or the sheep in wolf's clothing, uh, their name is, uh, is it Kofi? Coffee? Either way, these two, they were holding hands and they were they were very self-conscious and worried that one one was worried that they had too many sharp claws and the other one was worried they had too sharp of a of a of a nub. But they were like, it's okay, we'll be sharp together. And I was like, oh it's so good! It's so good! I'm gonna die! <laughs> it's okay, it's Kofi. Like Kofi but cuter. Oh, Oh wait, I should stop saying Kofi. It's it's Kofi. There we go. Oh, they're so adorable. I'm so happy for them. I like that this has been a like a slow build up between the two characters. And now we're getting lots and lots of shorts of those two being so wholesome. So wholesome, I'm gonna have a heart attack. <laughs> it's so cute. They're too cute. Ah. And Chris Chapin says, too cute. I know. They are very precious. Oh, sorry. Did I, did I, did I take the mic? I got a little, I got a little, um, <laughs> I got a little excited. A little overwhelmed by how absolutely adorable these two are. Look at them. Oh, I just want to give them a present just for being so cute. So I'm like, you want Cheese's hat on you, on, on you and on Bon? Oh, a cheeseburger hat, huh? That'd be very interesting. But I think uh, Chi wears it better. Just saying, just saying. Also, make sure not to remove the pickle. That part is pivotal to the brain cell. I know it's so much diabetes. I cannot. All of it is just too cute. Sentinel says, I know Soma can peek, but can she pinky? Are you making a Pinkie Pie reference? I don't know, you guys tell me. When I was more active in the My Little Pony community, you guys often referred to me as a Pinkie Pie, which was very fascinating to me. Maybe it was just because my character had pink hair, but I'm like, I am not a Pinkie Pie. I'm more of a Fluttershy. You guys just don't know it. <laughs> I'm naturally very shy when I especially when I meet new people, but eh, I could go on and on about this. You guys know the drill. And Anochi says, spiked a bit, but it's totally cute. My apologies. I hope your ears can recover. Oh, 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 oh. You know, I gotta look into getting like I have a sure mic and I have a program running so that it helps with noise suppression. Can you guys imagine if I didn't have that? Um but I know that I can also hook up this device to a box. I don't know what the box is called, but it's supposed to help the quality of the sound improve as well. So I definitely got to go look into that for the future. But not until Mother's Day passes and a couple of birthdays pass by because got to figure out budgeting. Because this, this little box device I'm talking about is like... It's gonna cost us like maybe about a hundred to two hundred dollars just to purchase. So it's like, oh, for a tiny little improvement where it helps us with, you know, the microphone peaking, I will always do my best to provide quality where I can. But at that price range, we'll have to time it just right. 
Sentinel says, you have your hyper and friendly moments, but yes, very shy cat. I am, I am a shy kid cat. Once I get familiar with people, I'm a total ham. I, I goof around, I'm loud like how I am with during live streams. Honestly, I feel very comfortable being myself when I am in stream mode. So you guys basically get to get to see what I'm like when I'm 100% goofball. This is the good side. This is very good. But yes, thank you very much for this fun subject. I absolutely adore these two. And I can't wait to see what else goes on in the world of Chicken Nugget. Next up, we have Fan Art of Derpy. Oh, dude, I want their ice cream. That ice cream looks so good. Let me grab the link. And this time the artist is Kitty Rosie. Oh, I should have recognized it from it being so adorable. Here is the source link for you guys. There you go. Derpy is super adorable. You gotta appreciate a good Derpy art. Der Derpy is also another one of those characters where it's just like, oh yeah, they are beyond wholesome. And Pad says, Scootaloo plus a weasel equals a weaseloo. Huh. Well, it's making you think about weasels, Pad. It's not like I'm going to be a slug cat tomorrow or anything. Huh. And Icy says, love Kitty Rosie's art. Ah, oh, dude, same here. Their stuff is super cute. Everything they draw is just, oh, you feel sugar hit your face almost every single time. And then says, I still love Kitty Rosie's artwork. I know, same here, same here. Also, don't mind me. After, after talking about candy, I have this bag of dark chocolate peppermint bark. It's really, really good. And apparently dark chocolate is supposed to help you during those times of the month. Uh, dark chocolate has this thing called flavonoid inside of it. And those flavonoids basically help with uh, any kind of pain or cramping. So I'm gonna eat one real quick. How? It's not really crunchy, but you guys get the idea. Oh yeah, that's good. And Sentinel says, funny may have come and gone, but the memories remain. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, just because I'm not active doesn't mean I can't appreciate it. Mm -hmm. And Richie asks, is anyone here a My Little Pony fan? And if you are, what is your favorite moment? Oh, there are many. There are many good moments. I don't know why, but I really like Starlight Glimmer as a character though. Sunset Shimmer 2 was a very fun and interesting character as well. Just added a lot of depth to the characters, you know? And to the team. Sorry guys, I'm a slow chewer, I apologize. Don't talk with your mouth full, you know what, fair enough. Almost every time I do this, I usually choke on my food, so. Ah, that's good. Unfortunately, the mint part of the chocolate gets stuck in my teeth. So it's gonna be a little funny for a little bit. Cat teeth were not meant for, for mint. Ah, I know, right? I mean, see, picking one singular moment out of all the episodes, there's so many episodes to pick from. How can we just pick one? And Sentinel says, can I agree on this hot take? Generation 5 is a mess, but Izzy and Missy are adorable. Dude, I agree. I don't know about the mess part, but like, I, genu I genuinely tried to give it a, uh, a watch. It was just kind of like hard to watch. I didn't, I definitely did not feel like I was the target audience when I was watching it. And it, I don't need to be the target audience, but it just, it didn't click with me. It did not click with me, which is so unfortunate, but hey, more power to those who enjoy it, you know? Just cause I don't, I, uh, just because I'm not crazy into it doesn't mean that other people can't enjoy it. And Renji says, I love season seven of MLP. Dude, dude, it was, it was really good. Especially, I mean, who here remembers episode 100 of MLP? 
That one was a tribute and a, and a shout out to all of the fans. And Dead Torch says, still can't process the fact that Pinky was the only one who in canon had a kid out of the main six. Yeah, she did. Good for her. Good for her having a family. I can only imagine the amount of joy it must have brought into their lives, you know? And Sentinel says, Slice of Life was amazing! I know! It was so good! They literally jumped the shark that episode. Literally. Ah, <laughs> oh, it was a fun one. And it's so full of feels, too. Especially if you were... Especially if you were active in the, uh, in the fandom at the time, too. It just hits so differently. And Sentinel says, The ending was so satisfying, and that last song brought me to tears. Dude, same! Same here, same here. Because it's like, I'm never good with farewells or goodbyes, so... They knew what they were doing with that ending. Alrighty, thank you so much for this uh, derpy, the, the derpy fan art. Next up, we've got some Eevee fan art! And they're eating popcorn! They're eating popcorn! They're eating popcorn! I want popcorn. I want my popcorn too! There, no, no, you're not the only one having popcorn. I can have popcorn too. Wait, how do I? I must grab the pop of the, of the corn. Yeah! <laughs> there we go. Let me just size it down a little bit. There we go, there we go. Perfect. It's an Eevee, and you can tell by the way the tail was drawn, this is a boy Eevee. Oh, and they're getting their own noms on. Let me go ahead and grab the source link for all of you guys. And for the artist, too. And there you go. And it's Kitty Rosie again. Oh, I like how they drew Eevee where they look cross-eyed. They've got the cute little chubby cheeks, and their fluff is very fluffy here. And Dead Torch says they are trying to become that one thing from that game I think we still can't talk about. Oh? Oh, are you talking about Kremis? I think I know what you're talking about. I won't go further into detail, but I think I get what you're putting down. And Colin says, Eevee can show up as a Pokemon assist in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. They can? That's cool! Dude, that's super cool! Eevee to the rescue! Kick their butts! <laughs> they make the best summon I bet. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I know what you're talking about, Ted Torch. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Now, do you know what I'm talking about? That is the better question. Any whoosie whatsies, let us move on to the next picture. But I'm going to keep this popcorn with me. Thank you, Evie, for being absolutely adorable. The next one, you guys may get a good laugh out of yourselves, too. Check this out. There's the link in the description. And the next artwork is... Of these two fighting! I don't know why. We've got... I have to remember his name. He's from Bluey. What's this character's name? Do you guys remember? We've got... King from the Owl House. And then we've got... I forgot his name. But he had a whole episode dedicated to him. Mackenzie! It was Mackenzie! Oh my gosh. Why are they fighting? I need context. Why are these ha two having a, a showdown? This is by the artist Porygon 2Z. Let me see if I read their description. Mackenzie has, has put King in a submission hold and will rip his... <gasps> no ripping the skull off. He needs that. Oh, oh, oh. Why are they having... Uh! Oh, maybe he's curious to see what King looks like without his skull. Like, what are you hiding under there? <laughs> yeah, they are there having a fight. Oh, no. It does definitely look like he's trying to pry off his skull. Which, I mean, conceptually, that would be very painful, right? Very, very painful. It does look like they're doing WWE. Oh, my gosh. I see it, too. 
<laughs> oh no. I hope they make up in the end. Poor little beans. And thank you for this submission as well. Very silly stuff, very interesting too. Next up we have another entry from Colin this time and I shall read the following. Allow me to introduce you to Rico, one of X-Dive's original characters. She's the navigator and a playable character. As a navigator, Rico has, sorry. Every time I read the name Rico, I think of the, the penguin from the Penguins of Madagascar. As a navigator, Rico has quite the interesting take on things and as a playable character, she's really good. She cut, she, she, hmm? She can put up a protective field around that restores health and sets up these screens that can shoot either a plasma shot, Genmu Zero, or a stun field. Ooh, how does the stun field work? As for her personality, she's very cheerful and upbeat. She looks adorable! She looks very small and tiny too. Very adorable. Also, hey Conway, welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday so far. Kaboom. Yes. Yes, Sentinel. Kaboom. <laughs> I love Rico from... I love Rico. He's such a crazy... I almost want to say, like, a pyro... A pyromaniac, but more of an explody maniac. I don't know if there's a term for explody maniac, but I'm just going to run with it and say there is. <laughs> Dead Torch says, didn't they confirm that King Skull is actually attached? I believe so. I believe so. I don't think it comes off. Mackenzie may try as hard as he might, but I don't think it's coming off. Where's the kaboom? The earth-shattering kaboom! <laughs> I remember that meme. It's also a quote. And Wrenchy says, Disney ch Chibi confirmed, uh, confirmed how King looked. Wait, there's a Disney Chibi? Wrenchy, explain. Status report. What is this Disney Chibi? Confirmed how King looked like without his skull. Oh, I think I remember you guys also sharing that with me as well, but my memory is a little... just a little biggity bouncy all over the place. Sentinel says, Disney Chibi, Tiny Tails. Tiny Tails? Tiny Tails? That sounds adorable! I gotta look into this. Also, morning, Mr. McGillicuddy. How are you doing? How are you today? In a weird cosmic sense, I'm actually kind of glad that we that we had this stream today versus yesterday. Like, even if, let's say that YouTube didn't like poop itself and that the chat was still working and we kept on keeping on, I was so tired. <laughs> I was so tired. Unfortunately, that time of the month had drained all of my brain power. So, I wouldn't have been able to like react as much as I am today. And today I'm like, I'm still affected by it. I'm even a little woozy and dizzy as we speak, but I have much more energy and reactiveness today. So I'm like, yay, I can give you guys proper reactions to all the cool stuff you wanted to share with me. Cause I feel bad. I feel bad if I can't like, if I can't give like, you know, good energy, good energy for you guys. And Pat says, what's, uh, what's next, Kith versus Polly? Who are these characters? Who is Kith? And Mr. McGillicuddy says, not feeling all that well. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you feel better in time. And, um, well, maybe we'll, uh, up, up. <laughs> sorry, I'm just trying to come up with words. I hope things get better and obviously let things take the time that they need to take. But if there's anything we can do to help cheer you up, just let us know, okay? And Richie says, there is a chippy short on YouTube with the Owl House and Amphibia's second collab. Very cute, very fun. I gotta go look into that because, oh my gosh, that sounds adorable. That sounds heckin' adorable. Also, Colin says she has a Sakura alternate costume that makes her hair <gasps> she has a pink she has a pink oh this pleases me greatly here just for funsies i know this isn't her uh her pink outfit but if we mess around with the hue and saturation we can kind of use our imagination right look pink hair <laughs> 
but perhaps you can give us a screenshot of that alternative costume in the future. For now, let's go ahead and bring out the next picture. Ah, this one. This one's got a story, right, Colin? Dead Search says, should I fire the orbital hug cannon? Yes, always. Always, if you can, do it. Press the button. Activate the hug cannon. And Colin says, this was something I wanted to show for a very long time. What this is, is a monument of players who completed the 100th floor in the Sword Art Online Integral, Integral Factor. I circled my name so you can find it. Now here's the story behind it. When the 100th floor was on the way, a very special event was coming with it. This event would allow players to have his or her character's name put on a monument of those who cleared the 100th floor and this monument is on the official Sword Art Online Integral Factor webpage. And let me tell you, a lot of people, myself included, faced a challenging battle on the 100th floor, but it was worth it because me and all the other players made history for this game. That's awesome, dude! Super congratulations! <laughs> I can only imagine, 100 floors sounds like quite the challenge. Now, I don't know too much about the game or what you had to endure or, or how many hours that this took, but I imagine it is quite the achievement to finally have put online for all of eternity. Good stuff, good stuff. And Pad says, Kiff is more Spongebob than Sandy. Wait, what? Who is this Kiff character? Is he from the Spongebob universe? And Rinchi says, I love Kiff. I watched every episode. Kimiko Glenn is the best. Ooh. Wait, is Kiff its own cartoon? Hold on, I'm gonna Google Kiff. Who is Kiff? See, I'm thinking of Kipper. That's not the same one. Kiff. Dotty. Wait, it's a Disney show? It's a Disney show! Huh. Wait, I see a cat and a bunny. Or is that a squirrel? Maybe it's not a cat. Maybe it's a squirrel. Is it a squirrel and a bunny? And Colin says, next time I'll show the boss of the 100th floor. Sounds good. Sounds good. I look forward to seeing it. I imagine it was quite challenging. Mr. McGillicuddy says, Hey, Silma, is it okay if I go into details about Warframe with my submissions? Yeah, by all means, feel free to. Um, as long as it's safe for work, I think it's all good to go. Yeah, yeah. And Archie says, Anti-boop missiles, activate! Yes, I agree. Oh, the anti-boop missiles. Thank you, thank you. And Sentinel says, Kimiko Glenn voice roles. Is he from MLP5, G5 movie? Nifty from Hazbit... Did you just say nifty? <laughs> the little gremlin girl who loves the cock- Well, actually, no, they don't like the cockroaches. <laughs> They're trying to kill all of the cockroaches. They- The brooches are winning, but not for long. <laughs> Horse from Centaur World. <gasps> Centaur World! I love that cartoon. It was such a- It was such a spectacle, right? Penny Parker from Spider-Verse and Kiff from Disney Channel's Kiff. Well, now I have to watch Kiff, so I'm going to leave this tab open for myself to look at later. But yeah, I got to I got to give it a look see. That'd be cool. Yeah. Alrighties. Now, on to the next picture. Thanks again, Colin. Appreciate the submissions. Brain, doing a brain, then we press this button, then we press this one. <gasps> it's artwork from the Sarah! Look how adorable their Fox Fox is! A goo goo <laughs> They're so adorable! Look at them! Look at the zero brain! There, there are no thoughts in that head. Smooth brain. <laughs> but they look very plushy! They look extremely plushy here. Like, man, I don't have it on me. I don't remember where I put that plushie, but I had a stuffed animal that looked very similar to this, actually. When are we gonna get plushies of the cute bean? Where are the plushies? Why demand adorable fox child? Sarah, the sentinel, why do you draw so adorably? I know. Wait, let me double check. Let me see if they had they said eggs for the babu, please. Yes, give them all of your eggs. All your eggs are now belong to them. Too cute. 
Yeah, their art's super cute, so make sure to give them a look-see. They have a blue sky. Oh, too cute. And Dead Star says, Nifty, you mean the Who insert spoilers for season? Yes. Sunny D was everywhere. That is all. <laughs> oh, they're so cute, though. I love how adorably round that Sarah drew their eyes here. It, like, literally the eyes look like eggs themselves. Straight up. And I also like how short and uh, scraggly you made the hair for them, too. It's, it's extra baby because of this. And Tad says, Big City Green, 1 out of 10, and Kiff, 10 out of 10. Big City Green? Is that another... Is that another show that I am unfamiliar with? You guys know so many things. I have not had television in, like... What? I haven't had television since I last lived with Bond's family, so that would be almost 10 years ago. I have the internet, though. The internet is a powerful thing. Ah, good stuff, good stuff. Thank you so much for your submission, Sarah. This is Adora Beatties out of 10. Keep the art coming. I would love to showcase it for all of our Show Me Lives because they are such a treat. Next up, we have artwork. Just a little guy, it looks like a bun bun. Let's see, we've got some hearts. I see we've got some electricity around them. And this was a submission by Crispy. Crispy says, I'm proud of this drawing, so I'm showing it to y'all. Burnt toast. Oh, wait, is that their name? Is their name Burnt Toast? <laughs> they do look a little burnt, don't they? <laughs> uh, I don't know if it's Springtrap or not. But I think they they named this character Burnt Toast. But that's just uh, my interpretation from this uh, post Yizzies. And Sentinel says, will we ever see the kitty play Freedom Planet 2? Quite possibly in the future. There's just so many games on my lineup. So many, so many games. And we gotta finish Rain World first. Once we're done with Rain World, I'll be posting up another, what do you call it? I'll be posting up another poll for you guys and then what is a game that's coming out soon little kitty big city is coming out in may so if if i'm not done with rain world until may you guys probably won't get a poll you guys won't get a choice sorry sorry in advance but if little kitty big city comes out and around the time that we are about to transition games we're playing little kitty big city okay I'm sure we can all find out in agreement that we must play the cat game. The cat must cat. <laughs> Burnt toast needs jelly. True facts. Or butter. Or butter. Yes, exactly. Butter toast. And Reggie says, 10 years with no TV? Oh my, wow. Yeah, unfortunately, but... Both me and Bond kind of agreed on the idea that we didn't really need television when we have so much at our disposal when it comes to just using a computer. Yuppity-yup, yuppertons. Alrighty, so let me go ahead and grab the next picture up. Thank you very much for your submission, Crispy. I love that name. Crispy is such a cute name. Adorable. Next up, we've got... Ooh, whoops, I clicked off. There we go. Dragon fruit! What is going on here? Dragon fruit. Zero sugar, naturally and artificially flavored. <laughs> then it's artificially flavored then! It's not natural if you add artificial flavors. Zero percent juice. I, I like how they, they specified zero percent juice. I wonder why. And Shoujo. This was a post by Shoujo and Shoujo says, Something something dragon fruit. That's the message. <laughs> Shoujo, you, you, your brain, it, it works in mysterious ways. I, but, but, but why? <laughs> and IHD says, little kitty, big city. I saw that on my Switch. Yup, I've been waiting for this game to drop for over a year now. I've been very excitedly anticipating a release date. And just today, someone in our Discord dropped the trailer for it. I believe it was Deviant Gazer, actually. And I was like, Oh, that's cool. They have another trailer. And then I realized there was a date on that trailer. And I was like, oh, it's going to be released. And let's see, we're in April, right? January, February, March, April, 
May. May comes after April, and we're in April, and it's and we're it's April 17th today, which means it comes out next month! We're gonna be again next month! I literally will drop everything. Even if we're not done with Rain World, I will drop everything to play that game. It's gonna be cute, it's gonna be fuzzy, it's gonna be a good time. And Sentinel says, Ed has no brain, but he lives his best life. Mm -hmm. True for the true for the cartoon from Ed and Nettie, and also true for Lion King. Mr. McGillicuddy says, I swear that looks a lot like Springtrap after the fire. Oh no! <laughs> the fire didn't do enough, did it? And Aichi says, I bet Shoujo took this picture at a 7 eleven Quite possibly. I don't know. I've never seen this kind before. But it's a Fanta. Oh man, when was the last time you guys had a Fanta? Don't you want to? Want to want to? And Pad says, Cricket Green, 0 out of 10. And Tilly Green, 9 out of 10. <gasps> You've got a whole reading system there, Pad. Who's here? Who here is a fantastic? Ah, uh, you see what you did there? Nicely said. <laughs> Thomas says, so any plans for summer? Because it's soon going to be that time. Probably gonna take a dip in the pool. We have a pool where we live, so gotta make use of it, you know? Aside from that, nothing in particular. Maybe I'll get a brand new bathing suit. I haven't gotten a new suit in a long time, but I prefer one pieces. Mm -hmm. And Thomas, oh wait, I read that one. And Sinergy says, summer is fantastic. Oh. Rinchy is fantastic too. Dead Torch says strawberry Fanta is good. I haven't had what kind of Fanta? I had the orange Fanta. That's the only that's the only Fanta I've ever had. I gotta try other flavors. And Helen says I've had dragon fruit drinks before. They tasted pretty good. I would say I think I've had them too. I would put them very closely related to an acai drink. Yeah, that's how I remember them anyways. Duck Decoy says, I know the game you're talking about playing in the next month. Little Kitty Big City. I've seen that one. Super amazing. Dude, they've been they've been working on it for a very long time. And they've been making lots of updates and posts on their social media accounts too. Very, very good stuff. IHD says, I bet Dragon Fruit Slurpee is pink, because Dragon Fruit is also pink. Yeah, that'd make sense. That would make a lot of sense actually. Alrighties, let's pull up the next post by Shoujo. Let me see if I can press a button, or two, or three. And here, Shoujo says, They make hot chocolate bombs purposely cute so you can feel bad as you're watching it melt in your drink. Oh, I wish you had a video of that because that would have been awesome. Yeah, I, I, I'm, a little, I'm a little crazy like that where I like to like destroy adorable food as I eat it. Like... If it's got a face, I'll eat the face first, typically. So in this case, this chocolate bomb, it's got two eyeballs. I imagine you get to watch it all melt and break apart in your in your very warm cup of milk. And Mr. McGillicuddy says, I thought cats hate water. So why are you going to the pool? I gotta get used to it. Also, I'm a weird cat. You guys should know this by now. I'm not, I'm not your everyday, typical, average cat who loves fish. I don't even like fish that much. I'll, I like salmon though because it's the least fishy type tasting fish. Yeah, I'm a special cat. I don't like getting in the pool typically, but I grew up, I grew up and, and, and I grew up a water baby. My parents, my parents took me to the pool very often. So I like the pool, but only when I choose to go in it, I have to pick it. If you push me in the pool, you're dead. You don't even like me when I'm angry. No. I'll chase you. I'll destroy you. I'll hunt you down. I'll stick my claws in your arms. I'll do it. I'll destroy you. But yeah, I, I, I enjoy I enjoy the pool. And Sentinel says, Soma swimsuit, a cute pink one, one piece that covers lots and has lots of frills. Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much. 
Maybe I should design one so that you guys can uh, see it on my model in the future. That could be fun. And Thomas says, whenever food looks like animals or anything like that, I just like to think that I'm eating something evil. <laughs> you must destroy a great evil. It may come in the form of cute, but you must do it. For you are the chosen. You are the warrior of light. And this cute, adorable moose cake made in the shape of a poodle must be destroyed. And I see says, I had a chocolate bomb once at Five Below. Oh, is that the name of the place? That's cool. That's cool. I, you know what? I've never had a, I've never had a hot chocolate bomb. <sighs> a shame. I should really do that sometime. And Pad says, most cats love getting, where are you getting this information, Pad? That's not true. That is not true. Most cats don't like being booped. That doesn't mean that people resist the urge to boop. Many people boop cats, but that doesn't mean that we like getting booped on the nose. We have very sensitive noses. Ow. And Dead Sword says, joke's on you. I don't have eyes. Oh. How do you get around? That must be challenging. And Mr. McGillicuddy says, salmon nuggets? Why are you buying Happy Humble Burger Farm recently? No, 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 no. It's gotta be raw salmon. If you cook the salmon, then it becomes extra, extra fishy for some reason. I like raw salmon and I could literally eat that until I'm really, really stuffed. Oh, it's so good though. Recently, uh, when Bon and me were celebrating his birthday, I'm still working on his picture, by the way. It's still in, it's still in the works. Um, we went to an all-you-can-eat sushi buffet, and oh my gosh, they had two different kinds of salmon. They had regular raw salmon, which was very buttery and fresh, and then they had the chef's special, which was raw salmon on rice with ponzu sauce and garlic sauce and a little bit of jalapeno on top. Ooh, it hit really hard, but it was really, really good. And then when the waiter came back, I was like, oh, can we get another one of the chef's special? I hoped, I hoped, but unfortunately that is a one time only order. So I was like, ah, ah, it was so good. I want to go back, but it costs like, I think it costs around $80 for two people to eat there. And I'm just like, oh, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. So once in a blue moon, we will go over there. And Zed Torch says, someone don't, you'll invoke the constant rule of the internet. Hmm? Constant rule? <laughs> you know what? Maybe it's better I don't ask. And Pan says, I guess that's dogs then. They love getting booped. I know, I know that like from the time that I've had my multi-poodle or my Maltese poodle mixed dog named Joey, he had a cute, adorable nose. It was it was like a brown nose, but it was spotted pink at the very tip of his nose. Maybe from all the booping, but he did not like getting booped on the nose. He would always give me the bombastic side eye. <laughs> Criminal offensive side eye. Anytime I gave him a boop. And then he would go <sighs> and hop at me. And I'm like, oh, geez, sorry. <laughs> Good times, good times. And Dead Torch says, I just have two big holes for eyes. I should draw more. Wait, what? I am confusion. Is this all one big joke or are you serial? Because I don't want to make light of something that may be actually serious. So let me know so that I, uh, I can be mindful to your situation. And Sentinel says, does that mean Bond loves getting his suit booped? I don't know about that. Bond's not big on attention, let alone physical touch. Yeah. Yeah. If I had to take a guess, probably not, but I mean, that doesn't stop me from doing it. <laughs> he's so cute when he's flustered. Even though he doesn't like it, I'm still going to do it. <laughs> And I see says, $80? Wow, I bet other sushi would cost more than 80. It depends where you go. This sushi restaurant is really good because it's an all you can eat. So they give you a selection of all these different choices from raw salmon to sushi rolls. And you can order as much as you want, minus the chef's special. There are like certain conditions for certain sushis, so on and so forth. But 
it's like $40, around $40 per person. That's really good. Because otherwise, if you go to other sushi restaurants, ordering one plate of sushi typically will cost you around $12 to $20, depending on where you go. And imagine ordering multiple plates of different sushi because you want to try all the, the sushi of the rainbow, right? That gets really difficult and the price can rack up, rank up, rank up, rank up, rack up. The, the, the price can rack up really, really quickly. So that's why I appreciate a good all you can eat buffet. Gotta make sure it's fresh though. And Dead Torch says, OC stuff. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Otherwise I'd be like, uh oh. I don't want to joke about that if you're serious. Like, if that's actually the case, IRL. But if it's not, oof, that's good to hear. And Pad asks, did you and Bond boop each other? Every now and again we do, but we try not to, uh, we try not to overkill it, you know? It's very easy to do so. So instead, I just give Bond lots and lots of head pads. Duck Decoy says, I get what Dead Torch is talking about, the the band Gorillas reference. Oh, oh, I can see that. I don't know much about the band Gorillas, but I know the artwork associated with that. Yeah, I can see the resemblance there. I can see it. Mr. McGillicuddy says, Bon isn't big on attention, huh? Mm-hmm. He gets all shy and he, he likes to tuck away and hide whenever, you know, extra attention is given. But I think secretly he likes it. I think deep down he, he very much does enjoy it, but it's like, for for him it's like, oh no, sensory overload, what do, uh, uh, system overload, bond brain D dot exe has ceased to function. Commence. Hide.exe. <laughs> He's very adorable, though. And for those of you who follow my uh, Twitter account, I recently retweeted a post where it shows... Let me see if I can actually grab it so I can just share with the class. For context, to add to context for context's sake, right? Uh, there was a post where it shows a person holding another person and saying, Look how adorable this person is! I'll grab it real quick. That way, I just, by the time I find it, I could probably, there it is, there it is. Let me just grab the source link. I will post the source link first because that is important. And then here is the follow-up picture to that. This is how I am with Bon. This is how I am with Bon. I, I, I grab Bon, I put him in front of all of you guys. I even made him his own VTuber. And he said, look how cute my partner is. <laughs> look how adorable he is. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's pretty much the, the gist of our dynamic right here in one picture. And sometimes it could be like vice versa. But 90% of the time, it is me holding Bon up like a mini Simba. Ah, oh, good stuff, good stuff. And Sentinel says, accurate. And yes, Bon is such a cute guy, even if he doesn't admit it. I know! I couldn't agree. I could not agree more. He very pesh. <laughs> I want all of you to look at it! Yes, exactly, Pad. Also, before I forget, we have one final submission for today's Show Me Live, and it is these little dudes. And then the, the rest following suit, we will be showcasing in the next show me live but here we have a final post from shoujo and these are just weird little guys he found dude dude look at those eyeballs they look like they are what do you call them they look like flashlights if you do they take batteries do they just <laughs> imagine putting these little guys on your lawn and turning the, the eye beams on that would be creepy wouldn't it that would be creepy. Nightmare fuel! What a wonderful picture to end on. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's not it's Okay, it can be it can be kind of scary, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but it's scary for people first discovering it, right? 
Say you're the person who bought this and owned this. I don't think it's so scary for you because you're the one who's already familiar with it, right? <laughs> How funny. And Dead Touch says, this is why I don't draw the eyes. You know what? Fair enough. Wait, let me see. Let me see. I have this on an art program, right? So if I were to just do this and this and, you know, just do a white dot, do a white dot, and then just... It's gonna look a little silly. They just, they're just looking at you like, oh. Well, you know, that's not much better now, is it? <laughs> okay, that's not much better, is it? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Wait, um, what if I do that over here? Let's do it for all of them. All of them get one, right? <laughs> oh, no. An eyeball here. An eyeball there. <laughs> this one, this one was kind of cross-eyed though, so we'll do it like this. This one was a little cross-eyed. He had a nose. He has a nose right here. Just try to use your imagination, guys. Use your imagination. Stop making it worse. No, <laughs> I must make it worse. <laughs> it is my new passion project. I must make it worse. <laughs> There you go. Don't you guys feel comfortable now? <laughs> and now they're angry. <laughs> I don't know why stupid stuff like this makes me laugh so hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I'll stop, I'll stop, no more. Look, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. It can't it can't hurt you anymore. The gophers can no longer hurt you, or at least that's what I imagine these are. Ooh, and Doc Decoy says, well that's good. My pictures are up after two or more for the next Shemmy Live. No worries, we will definitely catch them in the next stream. Thank you very much for your patience thus far. And Reggie says, let Soma have her fun. It's adorable. I could not help myself. They're very unique. These little creatures. These little doodahs. But this was fun. This was fun. Um, Let's see. We'll probably be having the next Show Me Live. Probably not next week, but the week after. And I like the idea of having up to six submissions. So you guys can have up to six submissions for the next Show Me Live. Yeah. Tomorrow we're going to be also playing Rain World as well, so look forward to that. I've got a new loading screen for that game too, so I'm excited to share that with all of you as well. That one, the next one I worked on pretty hard actually, so. And I know, I know it's simple, but I put lots of TLC into it. And then I can pull it this one down. Where is it? Somewhere. There it is. All gone. No more. Ah, thank you, Ben. I appreciate it. And Colin says, having the show me live as a stream was a smart idea. Dude, it helps out tremendously. I, I was definitely trying to think of ways to improve things for the future. And I realized that the show me live takes up so much. Well, it takes a lot of time for us to do. And I felt bad making you guys wait till the end of every single stream. And I felt like that took away you know, attention from the game that we were playing and it would make some people stay up unnecessarily late. And I was just like, I want it to be comfortable for you guys too. That's the whole point of it after all. It's time for us to spend together. And Thomas says, I'm happy you saw my pictures, especially the vinyl and Octavia one, because I feel like that kind of describes your relationship. Just change it to where it's about the puppy form. Oh, yes. Yes, it's very, you know what, Thomas? I'm going to agree with you there. That is very much our dynamic between me and Bond many of the time. Many much often. Yes, yes. And Pat says, weasel versus rain. I am not, I am not a weasel. I am not a weasel. I am a slug and a cat. Stop calling me a weasel. I'll bite you. You see these two fangs? I will sink them into you. 
Frenchie says, I miss Quizineer. I like how you play the game. Hey, we might, one of the reasons why I'm also thinking about holding off of the Show Me Live for next week and doing it every other week is because I was thinking, I was considering doing a Quizineer stream next week as well. But don't hold me to that. I, I think I might be able to, but I gotta pace myself. If I feel up for it though, definitely. I miss it too, it's a very fun game. It, it's oddly very cozy, but it's also, I wanna say challenging too, because it is one of those uh, roguelike. It's a roguelike game too. It's definitely one of those games that you gotta just cruise through and it's a slow, slow paced game, but with very high octane energy. President Soma, I am not a weasel. <laughs> I know what you're referencing. I forgot the name of it. Was it literally called I am weasel? It was like, it was the era of cow and chicken. I know that much at least. Oh, thank you, Ven. You have a very lovely night as well. And Sentinel says, it has waifus and has bondos too. Very true. Oh, was it called IR Baboon? Hold up, let me let me Google this. Man, talk about memories unlocked. That one's an old one. IR Baboon. Yup. Yup, I remember this. Oh, it was from Cow and Chicken. It was part of Cow and Chicken. Yeah, nailed it. And Thomas says, I was more referencing Richard Nixon when he always said, I am not a crook. Oh, my apologies. A hit and a miss then. And Dead Torch says, on the Rain World dev logs, the slug cat was originally referred to as bear creature. Oh, he does have like the adorableness of a teddy bear, so I can definitely see that. I can see that indeed. And when she says, I know I am Weasel. I like the old Cartoon Network shows. Dude, it's a classic. Very, very old, but also very memorable. Hey, Shoujo! Huh, and Ooga Booga Booga to you as well. Hey, 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 Shoujo, do you want to see what I did with your last post? Since, you, since you've arrived, let me just uh show you, show you the final post. I may have, uh, you know, filled in the eyeballs to see if we can make it look better. And that, because everybody thought it was really spooky, right? Because the eyes just felt very intense. And I was like, no, it's fine. Look, we'll just draw in the eyes and, oh, that's not much better, is it? <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to share this with you before we close out. It's just very silly stuff. Thank you guys so much for joining. I look forward to hanging out with you next time. Tomorrow we will be playing Rain World at 6 p.m. Pacific time. And until then, you guys stay warm, you stay cozy, and I look forward to seeing you when I see you. Till then! <coughs> friends for dinner. Don't wanna be friends for dinner. <laughs>